Next thing I'm going to show you is developer tools. I'm working in Chrome. We're going to be using Chrome in this class. And if you go into Chrome, you have these buttons up here. And you go to more tools, you have developer tools. And there's the keyboard shortcut for it right there. It's command option I for me on a Mac. And I click that, and it opens up developer tools. And so there's developer tools. And first time you come in, it might be over here on the side. I don't like it on the side. You can change it right with those extra dots right there and put it down on the bottom, which I'm going to do, dock it to the bottom. And inside developer tools, you have a network tab, you have different tabs, and they describe you know, the different things that you could do and how you could sort of debug web pages. But in the network tab, you could throttle your bandwidth. And uh, let me just see where that is. Uh, no throttling right now, and I'm going to throttle it and change it to offline. So now my browser is going to act as if I'm offline. And if I go to Reddit, right, there is no internet connection. So that throttling is good for you if you wanted to, you know, like here I'm going to come down and no throttling. Here I'm going to throttle it and say, you know, what would happen if somebody's on 2G, good 2G? What does my page load like on good 2G? I'm going to say, just pretend my page is Reddit. And I've got a Reddit. This is what Reddit loads like on good 2G. Yeah, that's all right. You know, so you can kind of see like what kind of connection and how long does it take to load and how well are you serving that part of the market. Now, that's, that's how you get into the throttling, network throttling. The cool thing is when you have no network connection, you see this dinosaur. How many people have seen this before? How many people know what it does? You got a little video game you can play if you're ever bored. Just go offline and start in your space bar.